Yo, what's good everyone on YouTube? It's your boy Amska Kicks. I'm back again with another unboxing video. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, this package came in from Foot Locker Canada today. And if you guys are looking for the Jordan 11 Legend Blue Lows, those are available right now on footlocker.ca if you live here in Canada. Full size run, adds to cart right away. Now they only allow one per customer, so just letting you know. But uh, they were fairly easy to get, which there was a lot of hype around them, but they add to cart right away, which is awesome. Um, I would buy them right now. It's just I've spent way too much over the past few weeks on sneakers and clothes, so I'm probably that's gonna be a no for me today. But if they're sitting for a little bit, I might do it. But uh, this is a pair of Jordan ones. I came in from Foot Locker. Um, these are available in store right now. So if you live here in Victoria and you're looking for a pair of these and you're like you don't know where to get them, FootLocker.ca has got full sizes. Um, Champs in Victoria right now has full sizes. Uh, Foot Locker's got full sizes. They got the Raging Bull 5s. They got the Carmine 6s. They got the red flint 13s so if you guys just don't want to wait you can go in person and grab them they got every size imaginable right now but let's get into it now these retail for 150 canadian so it is a little bit more than a regular jordan one um now this is not a pair of Jordan 1 Highs because simply the thing is Jordan 1 Highs right now are impossible to get for retail unless you have a bot. And so these are just the tracking slips like the order info, don't need that, we'll put that off to the side. Went with my true size. I wasn't sure if I should buy these to resell or where. Resale isn't too good right now, so I probably wouldn't do that. I'll probably see myself wearing these. Uh, these are the Air Jordan 1 mid white, gym red, and black. Suggested retail is 150 Canadian. Uh, if you guys remember the Jim Red Jordan 1 Highs from I think it was like 2018 or maybe 2019 around there when they dropped. Uh, the black ones with the red swoosh. Uh, then you, you'll probably see the resemblance on here. Like these look just like them almost. Like very similar. I think the colorway is dope. Um, now the leather isn't anything special. It's your typical Jordan 1 mid leather. A drawer on mids have been selling out lately. Uh, these didn't. So if you want a pair of these, I think this is very wearable. It's mostly black, so you can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with shorts. You can wear them with joggers. You can cuff your jeans. You can wear pin roll jeans, whatever style you want them to. I think this will be a very wearable sneaker. Now, if red isn't your color, then I wouldn't say this is a sneaker for you. Uh, then you're probably looking for probably the triple white Air Force One lows and stuff like that. Um, the construction of the shoe is nice. Quality is eh. It's okay. Um, you got a black tag on the tongue with the red Jumpman logo on it. And it says air and red underneath it. White tongue, black flat laces. Uh, red swoosh. Black mostly... Uh, all over the shoe white midsole red outsole um other than that like i'm not gonna drag this on i'm not gonna you know like you know make the video too lengthy um now i would say if you are getting something like the carbons like the air jordan one mid carbons that's a very odd fitting shoe. I haven't tried them on, but from what people have told me working at Champs and Foot Lockers, if you have regular width feet or narrow feet, go up half a size. Because they are patent leather, patent leather pinches, and it's uncomfortable sometimes. The only comfortable patent leather sneakers I've ever owned or ever worn in my life have got to be the 2017 Air Force One Easters. I wore the crap out of mine. 
Um, I do miss owning a pair because now they're going for like 600 Canadian dollars, which is insane. I bought them for retail on release day. I tried to get my own personal size. I couldn't, which is a size nine. So I got nine and a half, but they fit like a nine, which is perfect. So I wore them quite a bit and I sold them for a hundred dollars. But uh, that was after like four years of owning them. Uh, but now they're going for $600 dead stock, like brand new. And I wish I had my pair still. Because that shoe was such a, a dope shoe to have. It was the first ever time I got a limited shoe on a release day for retail. Uh, normally I get L's because everyone's using bots. Sometimes I wish I had a bot. But um, yeah, I do see myself wearing these. I was looking for kind of like a, a Jordan 1 high colorway but on a mid because the highs, their resale is insane right now. Uh, like I could afford it if I wanted to, but, uh, I'm not down to drop like $700 on a pair of Jordan ones right now. Um, I'm just trying to be very smart with my investments and my money right now for sneakers. But that was my video guys. Much love. Thank you for watching. Take care. Keep subscribing, liking, and commenting down below. Until later, take care. I'm in. I'm out. Peace. Bye.